Let's talk about Active Directory. Microsoft's legacy solution has been at the heart of organizational access management for more than two decades. But many IT admins are now asking themselves, is AD still the best option? Today, we'll unpack this topic and give tips on selecting the best identity and access management technology for your team. Let's start with Active Directory's pros. 1. AD provides admins with a centralized system. From here, they can enable and disable user accounts, define accessible resources, and set permissions. The system also helps them define how devices should appear, behave, and more. 2. AD syncs very well with other Microsoft services. No surprise there, this makes lots of sense from a Microsoft perspective. After all, this provides a unified experience, simplifies administration, and drives the adoption of other services in the ecosystem. 3. Group policy objects add another feather to AD's cap. GPOs and instructions that can be applied to multiple users and computers. GPOs are the primary means through which admins make and enforce network-wide policies. 4. Active Directory authorizes access using secure authentication protocols such as Kerberos and LDAP. It also enables admins to set security rules around password length, complexity, and expiration. 5. AD makes admins more efficient and productive. Think of how much labor and time would go into setting policies on individual computers. With AD, the admin can simply create the policies, assign the computers to a specific group, and apply the policy to the group. 6. Users also enjoy needing to log in only once to gain access to resources on the network. After all, no one enjoys having to memorize multiple usernames and passwords. 7. AD can also be integrated with third-party apps for documenting events and preparing audit reports. Now, let's look into AD's cons. First, AD is expensive to set up. The technology costs go beyond hardware and licensing costs. IT managers must also consider expenses like rental fees for data centers and training costs for employees. 2. AD is at its best only with an on-prem Microsoft ecosystem. So, if an organization typically uses cloud-based, non-Microsoft tools for its business, it's tough to control access to these tools using AD. 3. Unfortunately, AD doesn't play nice with non-Windows devices. This makes it difficult for admins to support users of all devices in a heterogeneous environment. 4. Due to AD's complexity, the network can easily be left exposed to threats caused by improper configuration. 5. The fact that AD doesn't natively support other devices often means that organizations must find third-party solutions. This drives up costs and creates tool sprawl. Plus, it increases the attack surface from which malicious actors could gain entry into the organization's network. 6. Lastly, Active Directory wasn't built with zero trust in mind. Should an attacker steal a user's credentials, there are no protections in place to thwart unauthorized entry. So what should IT teams consider when deciding whether to implement and maintain AD or not? Here's a few tips. 1. Consider whether the team will cater solely to Windows users or a mix of cross-platform users. If you only have Windows users, then AD sure fits the bill. Otherwise, check out an OS-agnostic solution like the Jump Cloud Directory platform. 2. Assess the extent to which your current infrastructure is on-prem. Then consider whether AD usage supports future goals. For example, if the goal is to migrate fully or partially to the cloud within a period, begin weaning the infrastructure off Active Directory sooner rather than later. 3. Also consider the workforce location. As mentioned, AD works best in an on-prem environment, so if your organization's workforce is primarily on-site, AD shouldn't present much of a problem. Hybrid and remote teams are better served via cloud directories. And finally, if you haven't already, check out Jump Cloud. It's a device agnostic platform that presents a superior alternative to AD and accommodates the modern day realities of work. That means users will receive support regardless of whether they're working at home, in an office, or at a coffee shop. The admins can secure and manage identities, devices, and resources that exist anywhere from everywhere. Jump Cloud also helps teams unify their IT stack by providing a full suite of identity and access management solutions, such as multi factor authentication, single sign on, password manager, and much more. The platform provides a pleasant experience for users and admins alike, cuts costs, and reduces security vulnerabilities, all from a single cloud-based console. Be sure to give this video a like if you learned something new, 
and check out the link in the description to get started with Jump Cloud.